Hey, this is Ellis Coleman. You're watching Sports Biz, SBTV, the UK's leader in youth entertainment. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm competing in Greco-Roman wrestling, um, 60 kilos, which is 132 pounds. You know, I feel welcome and I feel at home, you know, everywhere I go with, with all of, everyone on my team. And, I mean, I couldn't be in a better place right now being the youngest guy on the team. Word, word. Um, my stepdad actually put up, me and my brother in wrestling when we were younger, uh, we couldn't go out. My mom never ever let, let us outside around the neighborhood. If we did, we went like right a, a couple houses down to our friend's house. And um, I mean, we never were going out. We just sat at home with nothing to do. And my uh, stepdad came home and he put us in football and then he put us into wrestling to get us involved and to kind of keep us out, out the streets at the same time. And uh, we grew a love and a passion for it eventually and we stuck with it. Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like, you know, I mean, I could have been looking at how all my friends are doing now. I've, I visited a bunch of friends, seen a bunch of friends when I was back home in Chicago. Um, I definitely, you know, could shine a light on a lot of people and, you know, show them that's a different path and a better journey for them to go. And, um, I mean, I'm a prime example of it. And, um, I mean, I, I can't fathom where I'd be right now if I, if I wasn't in wrestling. And, and I'm grateful that I, that I had the opportunity to be where I am now. And I'm grateful that wrestling is in, in my life. like this. And I ain't trying to learn uh, no, actually, when I started, uh, I was I, I worked out in Chicago, at the, uh, Chicago at Austin High School, and Olympics never came in mind. I mean, just watching all the uh, high school guys wrestling, it was just like, you know, like, I want to be like them one day, I want to be like them. And then as I grew older and got better, you know, like, all those guys I used to train with when I was young, those high school kids weren't actually that good. I thought that they were good, and I thought that, you know, they're the best, but, like, there's a bigger, you know, a bigger area of wrestling and better wrestling uh, in different areas of the state. And uh, when it came down to it, like, none of those guys made it to the state tournaments or anything like that, you know, and I, and, um, I started to figure out more and more about wrestling, and it didn't come to after high school, the Olympic dream. And then, you know, out of nowhere, my goal was 2016, and then it just hit me like a rock, and I'm here, I've been blessed. with my recklessness. Everything. Um, I mean, along with the sport, he saved my life as well. Coach Powell was the father figure in my life the, all those years, you know, from eighth grade, seventh grade, and so on to, to this day. And he's coming out here to watch me wrestle, and I don't think, like, my experience won't be the same without him, you know. I can't see myself winning any big title or doing re reaching any big goals without Coach Powell with my side. And, um, I mean... I died for the man, that's how much he means to me, how much I care about him. He literally gave his all, put his heart, his time, his money, his energy, everything he possibly could into me and my brother, and he changed our lives. And um, I respect him and I thank him so much for it. I'm about blowing loud on the block sporty, block 40 in the politician mouth. Me and my brother messed around in high school. Uh, we used to mess around and do moves on each other when we were young. And, um, uh, my first senior tournament, I was wrestling, and I just pulled it out of my bag of tricks. I had to do something. I had to go for broke, and that was the first thing that came to mind. I hit it. I was successful when I did it, and then from that point on, I kept hitting the move, and I, I hit it in the world championships last year, and um, that's when it blew up. You know, I became a YouTube sensation. That's when I got all the hits from it, and that's where I got all my publicity from. So first class, be a lesson for me, but what you teach it for some I don't know if I'm hit it at this tournament at all. I mean, I plan not to hit it but if I have to hit it I'm going to hit it and um, I mean my coach today Joe Warren he's been helping me out he showed he gave me a little insight and told me if I was winning you know by a bunch of points I might as well instead of going for it when I'm losing might just pull it out just to give a crowd a little show so I mean I think about it you know if I get up I get enough I might do it if you ain't prejudice you still a nemesis smoking on the club I just thought that the move was cool and you know I just wanted to collect you know a, a bunch of highlights from from the move you know and just get a lot of notoriety from the move and just you know people just seeing me hit the move and I, I mean everything that came with it just, just I don't know, it just astounded me and I, it caught me off guard and I didn't expect you know all the recognition that I got from it but I'm happy where I am right now and I'm embracing the name and everything uh, it was a fighting contract uh, MMA contract but 
um, yeah, there is truth in that. And, uh, you know, I mean, it was a good amount of money, but my wrestling career and my wrestling goals, you know, was, was what my passion was. And that, that's what I'm, I've been striving for this whole year and these past two years. And so I'm going to stick with it. And that's always, you know, at the end of the route. And um, when I'm done reaching my wrestling goals, you know, who knows? You know, I might be worth more than in, in either of those routes, you know, that I take than I am now. I'm going for gold. I mean, I know I mean, that's that's the cliche, you know, response to anything. A lot of a lot, any Olympic athlete, you know, is going to say that they're going for gold. You know, a majority of Olympic athletes saying that they're going for gold and believe that they can get gold. But I mean, I put in the time, I put in the work, and I believe in my training, believe in everything that's behind me, my family, my friends, God, the men above. You know, who's blessed me and put me here where I am right now, and um, you know, I couldn't have enough, you know, behind me. And support. I mean, I could like I'm, I'm in the right position to win the gold medal. You know, it's all up to me in the end. Now, like if I keep my head together and do everything I got to do in these last few days, and I'll be able to grind come Monday when I compete. Say, word, word. What's the word, word? It's it's tough on my body. Uh, mentally, now it makes me feel better. Mentally, actually, going down to a lighter weight class. You know, I feel good. I feel strong. You know. I feel like you know, I'm one of the bigger competitors in there when I when, we, when I step out there on the mat. But physically, it's, it's tough. You know, it's hard getting down the way, especially considering I don't have that much body fat. But I mean, in the end, you know, it, it's gonna pay off. That was crazy. I actually, uh, I that experience was just was wild. Just walking in it um, with all those people and just seeing all the you know all the people from Great Britain cheering, all the lights going on you know the whole ceremony the whole gig that they put together and then just walking with, with the basketball players and talking with them and just feeling a part of everything you know that's USA that's that's us you know that, that's where we're from and um, like it was just amazing like there's nothing you can experience like that no but no better feeling I loved it thank you for your time I appreciate it um... <laughs>